a it, 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 it's a way of guaranteeing that the information you're being sent is is accurate, or, or even if it's not if it, even if it's not from somebody you trust. Is that is that? Yeah, but but it's more than that because it, it also guarantees that you can look sometimes at what happened before you were sent. The, like the provenance of that data is something that you can um, read, and you can also add if you hold that certain data at some point. Ah, so it kind of holds it like the DNA of the of the of the entire transaction right from the beginning of time. I guess what from the beginning of record keeping. It's called a blockchain because it's a chain, and Perfect. every transaction is a block. And that block has um, a reference to the previous block, so that way you can actually see what happened from the beginning of that uh, chain's time until the the current state of affairs. Okay, great, um, John. Let's move on to you. What would be your sort of like um, the way you describe it to the people that you interact with uh, on a daily basis? There's public keys and private keys, and once you get five or more of these distributed ledgers, the chances of the fraud are virtually zero because every looks at the transaction and can respond to it. So it's like having a, a small group of your friends that share a set of information and only the people who are buying or selling can change that. All the rest of them can see it and they can say, no, that doesn't make sense. So it, it's, a, it's more uh, community, that's why it's called shared, that people can see what's happening and yes, they can say no, that's that's not right, or or yes, that is right. So it's it's much more secure. 